A big hello and a warm welcome to all of you amazing and beautiful people out there. Welcome to my channel. In this session, I'm going to be talking about a Divine Masculine Collective. Specifically, this is from Divine Masculine Collective, not from both. The Masculine Collective is basically sharing this message and once again they are having a conversation with Source. In the letter that he had written yesterday, actually it was a conversation and a letter both. He spoke about, I mean, what I could sense was, he spoke about how uh, he stopped running and chasing and has finally reached to a place where he feels more peaceful and feels more connected to source. But today's message is, he feels now that a big connection, or he can see a big connection in the fact when he is joining two dots together, and the way he has changed now. So sometimes the feminines have a lot of bitterness and anger for the masculine. And even for the masculine, it is sometimes the same. They also hate the feminine. They also dislike the feminine. See, because at one time they had also loved the feminine a lot. But due to their narcissistic upbringing and due to their blocks and due to their other negative thinking, they could not see the goodness. They kept thinking that she is there to betray me. She is going to backstab me. She is not a good person. They keep testing. They keep checking or they keep like, you know, overthinking and all that they do. And they realize that, you know, she'll never be the right one. So before they run away, they are the chaser in many cases. Before they run away, they try a lot to work the relationship out. But the feminine who has already been bitten so many times with the bug of uh, false love and heartbreaks and this and that, by the time she ends up doing the inner work and she's an ascension journey and she meets someone, she feels, okay, I really like this person. There's a lot of chemistry and something is going on. She doesn't want to get into it too early. Okay. So she also does not commit that easily or that fast. Or she does not, you know, give out all the project, out all the love to him. But because he is egotistical, because he is not spiritually mature, he doesn't see it like a good thing. He sees it like she's playing games with me. She's this, she's that, you know. All the stories he cooks up in his head, basically. He does not think that she must have gone through pain. And sometimes, in some cases... Even if she had told him that, look, I had some bad experience in the past. I was in a long-term relationship. It did not work out for me. And I took a break from it. It was a toxic relationship. I took a break, say, last year. And one year has not even been completed and I met you. And I like you. And I really like you. It's not like I don't like you, but I need to take some time. I don't want to my blood from the wounds to fall on you. I am still healing myself. And this is actually a rule. When you are in a long-term relationship or if you feel that you've been in a series of bad relationships, one upon the other, one upon the other, it's just not ending. Then you must, you must, this is an advice, this is not just coming from me, this has come from many wise people and Sometimes we become wise after we also learn the lessons through the hard ways, to the, through the struggles actually. So it's the best thing to do is to give yourself time for at least minimum is one year. Maximum you should go three years. Three to four years is more than enough. I think three to four years everyone should give. If you have been in many toxic relationships, I know three to four years... For some of you might be sounding a lot, but you don't know it goes in a blink of the eye, especially if you're doing inner work, especially if you're dedicated. So it could be possible that you will meet a lot of people in the meantime. With some you'll have a fling, with some you'll not have a fling and you will keep progressing and you'll keep growing so much that eventually you'll realize, eventually you'll start hanging out, either you'll be a part of some community or you'll really love your company so much that you'll create something wonderful from your life. I'm telling you that, okay? Or you will find a like-minded person with whom you can, you know, enter into a very balanced and mission-oriented state. It's not just about sex or it's just not about having fun all the time. 
it's about living your life in a true authentic manner because you don't know how much time is left and for some people it could be a few decades left and for some it could be just i don't know don't want to give a number to it <laughs> so here the masculine actually is thinking that she is the reason why he has changed she is the reason why he has become a better person she is the reason why he is actually on the journey of finding truth she is the one who has made him ponder stop think you know and he can now see that he was quite egotistical he was not ready to understand he was not ready to accept so i'm just giving an example about this situation you know where the feminine was not extremely proactive towards him even though she likes him or loves him and when he starts running away then she comes to convince him and she says hey 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 please don't run away it's not my fault okay i have been in really bad relationships or my last relationship my long term relationship was like this or that i need some time to heal all i was doing was taking time it was nothing to do with you please don't take it personally and then she also over convinces so he also overruns after that and then he also then falls into a pit the pit can be called a karmic a beautiful karmic or the pit can be something else that he wasted his time into but does not get anything and then finally he realizes that okay instead of wasting my time more i need to stop now and i need to get things into a right perspective okay and i must thank the person who has led to this for a long time he was not happy even meeting her because she's the only person who he cannot get out of his head and because he is coming from the matrix reality the polarized masculine he is going to try to do everything they are more action oriented and quite logical and analytical and this and that so they have to find a logical way they are not like the feminine convincing chasing crying explaining you know they are this is this is the difference between men and women right and especially we lived in a programmed world everybody is programmed half of the people don't even know what they are doing and why they are doing half actually 80% people don't know what they are doing and why they are doing everybody is literally copying other people everybody is a clone of one another everybody is a mini me version of their caregivers so you can't be in that trap anymore the curse has to end with you the curse cannot go any further and that is the biggest service you will do to human kind to mankind that this curse of passing on the programming the generational curses the ancestral curses stops right here so she thinks like that and then obviously she is doing her inner work and then when she becomes quiet and she stops chasing him because inner work takes time i don't want to give any false hopes to anyone that's why i have created a patreon page also because i feel that a lot of people want to do inner work they write so many comments to me they write emails to me i cannot afford it please help me so i've come up with a very simple plan of doing group studies or group discussion once in a month i'll give you time before that you know some preparation work you guys can do so that we all can even if it's 20 people 30 people it's okay 40 people we can have two groups also the less the better limited people are okay with me i'm okay with limited people if some day it reaches 100 200 also still it's fine with me because we can then divide the groups okay but then if you compare it with the others who want millions of followers i am not into that zone my friends i don't want millions of people to know me already all these people know me and so many uh, people stalk me and they write all kind of weird emails and uh, dms and god knows what all so i am not on facebook guys i am only on instagram and that too have a private account and there is one more account which uh, is just for animals and i have not even been using it so this social media thing is not for people like me i cannot use twitter i cannot use anything i get very bored by it the only thing i love is youtube and that's because i have been an artist and i've been a writer and i've been a content creator practically all my life earlier i was creating content for other people i was in marketing i was writing for others i was doing all the things i was a corporate trainer that too i was training for other people now i'm doing it for myself past few years last i think 12 13 years i have been doing active inner work 
since 2009 or 8 i've been inactive in our work uh yeah 2009 8 that's also sounds like a long time mm and before that yes before that also i was doing what i loved actually i was in training i was a corporate trainer for a long time then i moved to marketing then i got into writing and then eventually i decided to leave everything behind and just do penance just redeem myself from all the sins that i had committed and uh, then i started realizing that everybody is a sinner not just me and everyone wants to be a saint everybody pretends to be a saint so the masculine is very thankful to the feminine right now i mean in this particular session he is extremely grateful see just because he is grateful does not mean he'll pick up the phone and call you so some of you should not uh, actually see this journey like that this journey is a very beautiful journey i don't know how to put it across to people that's why maybe i'm doing this work for you all so that i don't know how many but at least some people even if few people even if few people reach this point this place it's it's like a big big deal for me big work for me you know but i know it's not easy because everybody is carrying so much baggage and so much programming the programming is really deep sometimes and the letting go is very tough so if the masculine or feminine as being shown in the channeling to me if they have reached that place even if like i spoke about johnny depp and i spoke about couple of celebrities brad pitt and you know jennifer lopez and ben affleck and all these people are coming back have you noticed it's all happening after 2020 why didn't it not happen before that why after 2020 only you know because 2020 has given a jolt like we say jhatka in hindi to many people to many souls all across the planet everybody wants love now everybody is craving for true love but these people have very big ego they have lots of people around them lots of energies around them and they have to maintain it you know so even if they get into an into some kind of harmony because they are the ones who got karmic relationships better and faster just imagine if you are a famous popular person you know you got a lot of money why do you think the masculines always find karmics and the feminines don't because ma- masculines usually come from solid backgrounds they have money they have lot of show off you know egotistical people usually are strong in materialistic department and feminine always ascends before the masculine she is the first one to step into ascension and she is less confident despite that okay so he is able to attract karmics just like the celebrities you know they'll break up with ben affleck a very handsome good looking man breaks up with jennifer lopez a very beautiful talented woman and in no time they'll find someone else so for them it is it is like meeting the karmic creating a family having children it all happens and within a decade or two they have started realizing thanks to 2020 they have started realizing that i cannot do it and so they can go back easily but then it is the sustenance of the relationship that's not easy you know so even if they reach harmonization i'm telling you anybody in twin flame journey if you reach the harmony phase also where you can literally pick up your phone pick up the phone and call that person you know whosoever it is you think it is you know better call that person have a smooth conversation despite knowing you both are different despite knowing you both have weird taste in things despite knowing you both have you know things to sort out but you both have forgiven each other you both have come back after a long time and i'm saying you know someone like me i have lots of exes you know i know it is a fact and when all of them start coming back it's difficult to literally pick up which one you want to actually you know be with for a for a different situation and then there happens this whole you know acceptance of your asexual nature you not a being who wants to just reproduce and have babies or just uh, do the materialistic things you grow so much that's why you forgive actually that's why you accept their differences it should be to that point where you can pick up the phone and call up those people and have a talk to them and not everyone okay i'm not talking about the psychos you have dated i'm not talking about all the crazy people i'm talking about the people 
who actually matter to you and you matter to them and you know them you know who they are okay everyone knows who they are with time you'll know even better actually if people want to take a reading from me you know they should include this question if this person is actually my twin flame or not that is the question they need to ask you know but they don't ask that question they ask all the other questions like when will my union be oh come on if you do, if that person is not even your twin flame or if you are not in a twin flame journey maybe you are in a light worker journey maybe you are an indigo child maybe you know because the kind of content i make it attracts people who are in the ascension journey after surrender more or less everybody becomes the same you know before surrender you'll still say okay i am an indigo child i am a twin flame i am because you know twin flames are coming to these places after romantic encounters but imagine there are star seeds who don't care about romance who have never cared about romance in fact they have lots of choices even right now they can easily call anyone to them easily you know some people who are in the hermit mode some people who have been like that since childhood they could be single by choice they want to be single they don't want to commit and some of you think that they are the runners they are not the runners they are committed to something bigger something better so they don't want to commit to people they want to commit to causes they want to commit to mission work they want to commit to inner work you know so they are different and then there are people who are already married and they are in twin flame journey and don't think i don't connect with them i know this some people literally think they are married to their partner okay the partner is the love of their life but because they have so much narcissism they have so much anger they actually think that someone outside of their marriage is a twin flame you know somebody outside they are probably having an extra marital affair and that person is really torturing them and treating them very badly taking away all their money sexuality time or whatever and they think this is my twin flame and they keep running after that person while at home they could be having a wife or a husband whose face they don't want to look at only because they are heavily programmed and i have such clients and some of them have actually recognized it some of them actually recognize it after therapy they actually re recognize that they had very narcissistic parents which turned them also into a narcissistic person so 50% or more than 50% they also have narcissism but because they got used by a person so badly now they want to fix it so it can happen to anyone twin flame journey is not only for single people it is for married people it is for people in relationship it is for people who are single it is for all sexualities it has got it is for people who are mission oriented also it is for star seeds also because the romance part has got nothing to do with your union and this is something i am so sure nobody is going to tell you other than me why because being a 5.2 projector something is it was not in my control it was not in my hand so i cannot uh, do anything until and unless i am not self motivated so if i am sharing these channelings i am i am literally motivated self motivated to do this if you tell me if anyone can come and tell me my parents anyone that do this do this or do that a man in my life friends in my life mother father brother sister even if it's very lucrative even if i can make billion dollars from it i will not do it till the time i'm not motivated to do it that's the problem with people like us and we are very few here so i know i'm dedicated for a lot of people but please don't take it like you know uh, this person has to be put on some pedestal please put source on the pedestal not someone like me okay all this is temporary guys all of this the masculine also feels this very strongly you know when you feel genuine gratitude like real time gratitude it's very beautiful feeling to be in because everything starts making sense like every bad thing starts making sense like all the bad experiences that he had to go through especially the karmic cuz karmic is a nightmare a lot of you may not believe it you might think that oh he was so enamored by the karmic it's literally like they hate the karmic after a point they are disgusted by the karmic they feel the karmic is the worst person literally the worst person 
you know or the karmic job they choose or the karmic entanglement they get into like one of my client actually left his wife to be in some other country to make a lot of money at that point in time he was very excited about it some of you must be thinking that why the hell did i get into this twin flame journey why did i fall in love why did i become this person some of you not everyone but actually it is not your doing it was predestined it was pre-written you had to fall into this you had to get into this and this is the best thing that has actually happened to you and if you feel it is not then you need to really work on yourself because maybe everything is not healed everything is not going to fix by itself but you do see certain changes you see that you are not the same person you were five years back or two years back also three years back also same is the case with the masculine he is realizing it very deeply he's realizing this thing that he has come a long way like he knows there is long way to go but he cannot recognize who he was he cannot relate with the man he was he used to be maybe he had some very bad habits maybe he had some addiction problems maybe he has some kind of alcohol addiction or drug addiction or sex addiction or something and now he feels like he's a new person he's a changed man he is not enjoying the company of other people that much as much as he used to he is not doing the things that he used to do that were wasting his time and money he is not running after people's validation at least he has stopped somewhere now he has taken a break okay so this channeling is about the gratitude the love he feels for the feminine he never stopped loving the feminine please understand he always thought that she was the evil person the bad person either other people were doing this to him in that case also he was a weak decision maker cuz he was listening to all the other people or it was his own negative thinking that was doing it to him and it was creating situations all around him and whatever the case is now he feels like he's had enough he's done all these wrong things so once a person gets into this zone they will only go forward they will keep coming back keep falling down because what happens is that when we are trying to raise our vibration or change our frequency the old vibration the old lifestyle that we have even that tries to pull us back into it again it will not give up so easily ego never gives up that easily sometimes students also have in therapy they have a very big ego they find it very hard to do simple assignments they question a lot why do i need to do this assignment or they will do many things that will be like sort of irritating like you have to tell them that hey i told you to do this why don't you do this what i told you you know there will be so many email exchanges there will be so many uh, messages in exchange you know just to tell them to do a simple thing but they don't actually it's not like they are not dedicated or they don't want to do inner work it's a ego problem that somebody is telling me to do something but i don't want to do it like that i cannot so it's not even the problem of devotion it is the problem of surrender when you cannot surrender so who is causing this problem in you the ego the ego is telling you that hey you know so much what is this teacher is trying to tell you <laughs> you know better than this stupid teacher come on she doesn't know anything or he doesn't know anything you know or they want to learn but as soon as they are given like an they see it like an order that somebody is ordering me around because their parents have ordered them too much or you know in their life they had to follow some kind of even in society we do this you know we follow this kind of a conformity and it's not even a healthy conformity everything i'm telling you has a thin line as long as you follow if you know what that thin line is your life will be smooth and easy it's good to be in self respectful energies not to do anything just like that but it is also stupidity to keep delaying things to not listen to anyone you know if you have 
the strong intuition because what happens in the twin flame journey is that the intuition power that you have it starts developing even in masculine because he was running away and he was fighting he tried both the things it didn't work then his intuition told him that okay stop doing all of this just work on yourself just relax just calm down everything will be okay so they stop and then you know they know that this person anybody you know it could be a master teacher it could be anyone they have that right knowledge they know the path they are telling you you know there are so many books written on question and answers between teachers and students and i can give you books like of ascended masters and they have literally they have been training gods and goddesses and even they ask questions it's because the ego is like that the ego does not always mean arrogant some people think that oh ego means this is a arrogant person this is a rude person this is a mean person no 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 don't fall into that illusion some egotistical people are very sweet they sound so sincere so nice but they'll give you a tough time they'll give you a tough time they have so much covert narcissism in them always being a victim always projecting out that oh you know what i need to do it i cannot do this it's so hard for me to do this basically they just don't want to give in they don't want to surrender so they will waste a lot of time you know and i also used to waste a lot of time sometimes on these people out of whatever emotions and and i learned don't waste time on people who cannot surrender to love because we are not telling them to you know like chop off their fingers or something we are not telling them bang your head against the wall <laughs> same problem feminine faced with the masculine but when she is doing the same thing she doesn't realize it she is trying to tell the masculine to do some things for her she knows that if he is going to do those things they will be in a happy place but he doesn't want to do it he doesn't want to listen to her but she is doing the same thing when it comes to inner work or listening to her intuition or listening to teachers she is also doing the same thing and when i say she i'm talking about feminine energy it could be man woman both okay she is also like i'm not going to do it oh i want to do it my way so why get so offended with someone else is doing the same to you when you're doing the same thing to source to master to your teachers to your guides they are telling you since so long do your inner work be disciplined or be you know independent or you know focus on yourself you don't want to listen you have bad habits bad eating disorders bad addictions gossiping negativity overthinking oversharing blaming others not following a proper routine not exercising not doing so many things that you can actually do not getting out of your dark night on purpose sometimes so why blame the other people then you are basically focused on one person because that one person is only mirroring you that person who's giving you a tough time is basically mirroring you okay so this is the reason why sometimes teachers also say this that i am a student why do they say it because when their student is giving them a tough time they also learn okay i need to maybe i'm overdoing maybe i'm over loving maybe i'm over pampering someone and that's why i'm so attached to the student that when the student is not listening to me i feel bad even though i'm telling the student that this is the best for you and it could be the best for the student but the student doesn't listen because you're too attached to the student and you know how is the masculine feminine relationship it's actually a teacher and student for some of you twin flames you're actually a teacher to your masculine the male or female companion you are actually literally a teacher to them so you can't get irritated and frustrated with them like we also have to be so patient with you all the time all of you okay i don't want to sound like a very great person i have also given a lot of questions i used to ask to my teacher to my master but yes he never asked me to do anything and i don't think i refused anything he said to me i think this this total surrender really helps you just have to surrender like even if if your teacher tells you run 6 kilometers just do it just do it don't stop he'll give you directions he'll give you what to do what not to do just follow it and even if your legs are breaking 
just do it okay so masculine is is going to do it now because the feminine herself was not in proper energies she was very wounded as well so there was an attachment also she had towards him like a very deep attachment and because of the attachment it became so difficult for her to be patient with him or to look at his side his problems which he can now understand because he can also look at her problems look we are not perfect okay this is the big problem the ego gives a false illusion that you are perfect ascension is a lifestyle my friends it's just that when you are in the lower frequency your lessons are different people who go in the fourth dimension their lessons are different people who are in the bridge of fourth and fifth dimension their lessons are different people who are in fifth are different sixth are different but everybody is here on planet earth till the last minute you are le- learning lessons buddha even when he was on his death bed imagine he is on his death bed he had already told anand that anand i am going to leave my body at this time anand says okay takes him next to the river and people start getting to know that buddha is about to leave his body so so many people go to visit him he is about to die that poor man leave him alone but no he still has to learn some lesson maybe at the end you know one student comes in and says that hey buddha great enlightened master i don't know how to do this technique can you please teach me he says okay my son my child come here i'll teach you and he starts he's dying he's breathing his last breath and somebody says please teach me because at the time of death what energy you have is going to create your next life and if you don't want to get a next life you just want to merge into source just go back to your home wherever you came from then that last minute also matters a lot so he did not want to get angry he did not want to get upset or he did not want to generate any aversion any craving or any attachment so even in the last minute anyone who was walking up to him and asking him a question he would give the answer as honestly as he could maybe some of them could be asking stupid questions so he would guide ananda Mm-mm. take them to the corner take them to the corner <laughs> and he would be like you explain it to them this is not my cup of tea so that discernment also he had to use even when he knows that he's going to die at this time okay so on this note i'm going to sign out from this particular session for personal situations you can write to me at the sunamoon at gmail.com please go through the description box if you can afford then please invest on yourself that's the best thing to do the right thing to do and if you cannot then go and check out the patreon options uh, where i have started this you know if patreon becomes too difficult for me to handle then i'm going to just uh, do a zoom session and put out the paypal details if i get 100 people 50 people whatever number of people for a for a group session then i'm going to pick up the top questions the best questions that will help the community and we'll do it on zoom ourselves but right now i'm trying out patreon because it has some kind of a system actually and i also want to like uh, not fall into the youtube algorithm you know where they focus only on one type of content and not the rest because there are different types of people and they learn from different ways somebody likes to learn from stories like on my hindi channel i share more stories and less channeling and people are giving me really good response on that and i'm glad that people want to hear stories and want to learn from stories because it's much easier to teach people through stories from puranas and upanishads and which is why i created the channel called ramayan and mahabharat diaries anyway so coming back to the uh, description box you check out the description box and just go for whatever you want to go for and if you don't want to go for anything you just want to use this content which is out there for you then use it for your best 
upliftment and i really wish that all of you everybody all the twin flames on this planet eventually sooner or later you're going to find uh you're going to find out about yourself about why you're here but till the time you are not fully sure about yourself you need to keep doing inner work inner work is a lifestyle and ascension is a lifestyle and i will see you soon in another one one love and peace out and jai shri ram